Am I recording? What's quicker in a drag race? The brand new CS20 Cyclone MX Edition, which is the fastest 5,000 watt on the market, or the brand new SB Thunder RT, which is the quickest 5,000 watt on the market? Now the CS20 Cyclone MX Edition has a 3.5T motor compared to the SB Thunder's 5T motor. That should help with this bike's top speed. Speaking of which, this thing is powered by a 5,000 watt motor with a 72 volt, 41 amp hour battery, along with a 150 amp controller, making this thing put out 10,800 watts of peak power. All that is going to the rear wheel via a hub motor. Just like the MX Edition, the RT has the same powertrain, still has the same 72 volt battery along with a 150 amp controller paired with a 5,000 watt of motor. The one difference in battery size is the MX comes with a 72 volt 41 amp hour battery and this bike comes with a 72 volt 40 amp hour battery. In order to slow down all that power, you need some high quality brakes. And e shaft did not cheap out on the brakes. Both bikes come with front and rear four piston Magura MT7 E brakes and 200 millimeter front and rear rotors. e shaft claims that this is the fastest 5,000 watt on the market and that this is the quickest 5,000 watt on the market. And we're gonna see what that means in a drag race. Let's get to it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Say, ooh. Oh, shit. Oh my God. Oh my God, he passed me at the very end. <laughs> you were so close. I consider me the winner of that one. Okay, okay, okay. On this bike, it has that initial torque that the MX doesn't, and you can really just pull up the front wheel. Ooh, that was the best one yet. Bro, I just need to practice some more. My goodness. We switched bikes. He's now on the 5T SB Thunder RT. All right, three, two, one, go. It's about the same. About the same results. It really is. Like, it took me a second to catch up. To the bag you did win. That's what I was saying to myself every time. I just made it to the bag. Alright. Wanna oh, do it? Damn, you really on a roll we got. Switchy. that difference once this thing tops out at 45 it gets there so fast though but once it tops out at 45 it hits that wall because it has that 5t motor and the 3.5t motor comes flying past it i think a great yeah that one's super quiet it has no motor in it no motor noise and no tire noise for the most part all right so we're going to the same spot we're gonna go farther uh, we can go farther. How far do you want to go, though? I have to move my backpack again. See your backpack? I said I would have to move my backpack again. You see the... You see how there's one, two signs, and my backpack's right in front of the second one? On the right where it says no parking? Yeah. Why about we go to the third no parking sign? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go.
after doing the drag races and top speed runs, let's see the heat of the motor. This is actually not hot at all. And on the 5T motor, the heat, eh, I'd say it's about the same. It's really not that much of anything. Oh, damn. <laughs> My nuts. I don't think you have the facilities for that, big man. <laughs> you understand? Now, by no means is the SP Thunder RT slow. The top speed is 45 miles per hour, which is faster than the average electric bike. This bike was made for the trail. You can tell by the tires and the suspension on this model. Along with the acceleration, this thing eats up the dirt. The MX, however, is an enduro bike. It's meant for the street and for the dirt. So this bike, although it has a slower acceleration, the top speed is insane, which makes it great for keeping up with traffic. Now, even though the top speed of the SP Thunder RT is only 45, it is very near to the regular 5000 watt model top speed. So in the next video, I'm going to get the CS20 Cyclone 1.0 and the 2.0 and go head to head against the SB Thunder RT. If you're interested in that video, like and subscribe to be notified when that comes out.